the Violet Fizz cocktail. Blue as a summer day and just as refreshing. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. It's really interesting to see all the different products that are coming out on the market. Uh, for example, violet liqueurs. These are ingredients that haven't been seen for an awful long time. We're going to take a look at a drink that uses it called the Violet Fizz. But before we get to that, I want to take an answer a question that one of our viewers wrote in. We have a question here from Sam. He actually asked several questions. Uh, one of them here is, how to decide between gins when making a gin cocktail? I know proof should be a factor, but how does it factor in? Dryness should be a factor, but once again, how should I factor that in? Same question, I suppose, could be posed for rye versus bourbon. Well, any spirit you use, you want to figure out what is the flavor impact that product is having on the drink you're making. With gins, you have a lot of different variations between the amount of juniper that might be added as well as the other botanicals, since there's an awful lot of different ingredients that the gin manufacturers can choose. You have a, a, a gin like, like Tanqueray, which is really high, powerful juniper flavor, well-balanced with all the other ingredients. Then you have a softer style gin, like say Plymouth, that worked really well for ingredients that have more of a softer profile because the Plymouth is not going to overshadow any of them. In between, you might have something like a beef eater. Today, we're going to take in our drink, use Ford's gin, a brand new gin on the market that I think will work really well with the other ingredients you're using. Uh, the violet liqueur is kind of a flory, kind of earthy flavor to it. The lemon juice is going to have that citrus flavor. Uh, Ford's gin has some jasmine in it, so it's going to have some floral capabilities. And with some of the citrus, it's going to bring out some of the citrus notes. And also being well on the bright side, it's going to counteract the slight earthiness that the uh, violet liqueur is coming in at. One way to take and check this out, you're going to take and maybe taste your gins, have a couple different gins you're going to try side by side. First nose them to find out what sort of aromas are coming out and then take a sip. See what flavors come out at the beginning. Here I'm getting some nice citrus and, and almost some peppery characteristics. And you also want to pay attention to what is the length of the flavor. How long does it last and where in your throat does it fall? You don't want it all forward in your mouth. You want it to take and actually come down so you can taste the flavor throughout the entire process. This is going to add length to your entire drink. And so I think for this drink, Ford's Gin from 86 Company is going to work really well. Let's try the Violet Fizz. We're going to start off with one ounce of lemon juice. Followed by a half teaspoon of sugar. Now you want to make sure you use finely granulated sugar. Sugar doesn't always dissolve well in alcohol or coldness. And so we've got two things going against it. It's going to prevent the sugar from fully dissolving. You want to use a finely granulated sugar like a baker sugar or a caster sugar, not powdered sugar, because that has some other ingredients in it that might kind of cake it up a little bit. Um, or you can use simple syrup. Simple syrup was pre-dissolved sugar and that works really well. But this recipe is specifically called for sugar. And so I'm going to use caster sugar in this. We're then going to add a half ounce of cream de violette. This is from the, the Bitter Truth Violet Liqueur. It's got a beautiful purple color to it. It's got a lot of floral characteristics. And I like, like I also said, a little bit of earthiness as well. We're then going to add an ounce and a half of gin. Then we're going to add some ice. Give it a good shake. Fill our glass with some ice. Strain it in. 
Notice how that blue color is coming from the creme de violette. And then uh, top with some soda. It is a fizz after all. Uh, take a couple straws. Now the, the carbonation of the soda is actually going to help do some mixing there, but it's not going to fully mix. And so when you put the straws in, make sure you give a couple stirs just to make sure everything mixed together. Beautiful blue color. The color doesn't actually come through on the taste though. Um, what you get here is you get some gin flavors coming out, some citrus from lemon juice, as well as this floral in the background that is adding a nice refreshing flavor to it. Uh, this is the sort of drink you might want to sit on the veranda with. It's not a over-the-top powerful drink that's going to slap you in the face with any syrupy sweetness or bitter lemon flavor to it or even the high-powered gin. Nice, cool, and refreshing. The Violet Fizz Cocktail.